One of the basic things you must know about Microsoft Word is how to start from scratch to get a new document or to open something that you've already created. So let's take a look at what happens when you just click on Word to activate Word. It's going to take you to what I call the Get Started screen. And on the left, you have the Use Things, what you've already used, where you've already been, the recently opened files. And on the right, you have the Let's Start From Scratch, the new stuff. So take a look here. I'm going to come back later and say, remember, we already saw this on the screen. I'll be mentioning this Certificate of Achievement, but it'll be showing up in a different spot. All right, so that's for later. For now, let's take a look at the recently used list. These are things we've already had open. What's going to happen is it's going to keep track of what you've opened and what you've closed in the recently used list. As you use a file, it drops out. So what you want to make sure of is that the file that you always want to have available is pinned to the top. So if this is a file that I always want to have available, I'm going to click that pin button, pin it in up here at the top so it's always going to stay in my list. And as things are open and close and open and close and open and close, it won't fall out of the list because something else takes its place. It'll always stay here at the top. Now folks, also, if you've not used any files, this will be empty here at the left. This is only going to be available if you've actually used files. Maybe there's a file you don't want to accidentally open. See, this sample file is stored in my documents, which is my local computer, my drive here. This sample file, it's the same file, but this one is stored on my SkyDrive. So I don't want to get confused and open the one from the SkyDrive. I want to stay with the one on my documents. So here I want to dismiss this one from my list. I'm going to right click and say remove from list. Now, all I did was take it out of the recently used items. It's still wherever it was stored. I didn't delete the file. I simply removed it from this particular list. So you can pin things. Simply say, I want you here. Or if you change your mind, you can unpin them. All you do is rest your mouse on that little pin. And you either click pin or click unpin. Put it on, take it off. Or if what you want isn't in this list, you simply click on open other documents. Now when I click this, my screen's going to change. And now I'm in the backstage. And I'm on the open segment of Backstage. And these are same, what I saw just a moment ago. These are my recently used documents. This is my pinned item and the other two items that I have available for me. Or I can go to my SkyDrive and I can grab a file. Or I can go into my computer and I can grab a file. So you simply choose where you'd like to go. These are the recently used folders. If this isn't where you want to go, just click on Browse. And now you can navigate around anywhere in your computer. So you simply choose. I, I do want to be in my documents, and I want this folder here, Microsoft Word 2013. So I'll double click. And I actually want this business trip checklist. I'll go ahead and say open. Oh, excuse me. Before I do that, let's mention the drop down here. If you can't find what you're looking for, double check that A, you're in the right spot, and B, you're looking for the right kind of a file. So maybe you're searching for a PDF file, or maybe you're looking for an older version of a Word document. Just make sure you choose from the list here the proper type of file, otherwise your file won't be visible. So I do want my business trip checklist. I'll go ahead and say open. So now I've opened my business trip checklist, and now it's available for me on the screen, and I can work with my business trip checklist. Well, what happens now is I want something else new or open, you go to your backstage. So you click on File. Here's my backstage. There's open. There's the screen that I just came from. Or I could get something new. So I want to click on New. And now I'm back at, there you go, the screen earlier where I said, remember this? We're going to come back to it. If you just want a plain sheet of paper, you can click on Blank Document, and that'll get you a plain sheet of paper. Or you can work with some of these templates. Templates are simply pre-created files that someone else has created, and you want to tweak it to make it yours. Well, I do want a certificate, and I want this certificate of achievement. But before I do that, I also want to take note of what if you can't find what you're looking for here? Right there. Not finding what you're looking for? Well, all you do is go back up here at the top, and you type in what you're looking for. So I want to type in certificate. So I hit the Enter key, and now it's going to go out and search thousands of certificates for me to find available certificates. So now I have some of the top choices that it found. But what if I want something other than it's in the list? There's a scroll bar here on the left that scrolls through the existing certificates. Or I could scroll through this list of certificates, and I can find more. So what I want to do here is I want to click on Business Certificates. And this will pop up a variety of business certificates. And then again, you would click on whichever certificate that you were interested in. 
Well, if you've never downloaded it before, it's going to go out to the internet, it's going to tell you where it came from, and you'll have to choose download. So be sure you know your company's policies for downloading prior to doing that. Well, I don't want any of these. I just wanted to show you how you can get more. So I want to go back home. I want to go where I came from. I'll click on home. Let's scroll down here to the bottom. And this is the certificate I want. So I click on it. It tells you where it's coming from. So this one tells me it's coming from Microsoft. It tells me that it got out of seven votes. It has four and a half stars. And so if I'm happy with that and I know that I'm following the rules to be able to download, I can click Create. And what it's doing now, it's actually going out to Microsoft's website. It's grabbing all of the information that it needs to download that to make it a brand new document on your desktop. And so now you can go tweak this. You can go change things in this to create a certificate exactly like you want for your whatever the situation is. OK, so let's recap. If you want, you go to the backstage to get a brand new document. And you can choose here. And you can grab either a plain sheet of paper or any of the templates that are available. You also can pin things in or unpin them if you change your mind and you no longer want them pinned. Whoops, excuse me. I didn't click on the pin there. I clicked on the document. Let's go back. File, New. So you can unpin them. I won't do that now just in case I do it wrong again. But you can unpin them to take them off. or you can go to Open, and when you choose Open, you can go grab a file. And these are your used files. These are files you've already created. So it's your choice. Either choose File New or choose File Open. But now you know that whether you're starting from scratch, when you first open Word, you can start from a used document or a new document. Or if you're already inside of Word, just go into the backstage and choose New or choose Open. And you can go select anything that you would like to get going on whatever your project is.